This is a picture of uh, Donald Trump's inauguration uh, crowd, and it was reported to be approximately 250,000 people, and I'm not here to argue what the numbers were. What I am here to say is this crowd is getting ready to turn into this crowd. That is also another uh, famous uh, inauguration. Uh, that is the inauguration of a chancellor of uh, Germany quite a few years ago. And uh, if you notice uh, the symbols there, you should pretty much be able to figure out whose inauguration it was. Now, why do I say that that picture is getting ready to turn into, well, the first picture is getting ready to turn into the second picture? Well, uh, only because the current head of our government has uh, started what I consider to be an information of blackout and enacting various policies through executive orders that remind me of what happened in Nazi Germany. If you weren't aware of it, this current administration has frozen all EPA grants and contracts so that no monies can be distributed out of the EPA for things like checking on various environmental uh, studies, um, forestry uh, projects, clean air projects, clean water projects. Now, they have subsequently indicated that uh, monies will not be frozen for anything that has to do directly with the pro procurement of clean water and clean air, but that in itself is uh, bullshit because uh, they've also suspended all EPA regulations. Now, that's just one thing. Mr. Trump has uh, decided that uh, he is going to uh, fast track and reinstate the various oil pipelines, i.e. the Keystone Pipeline and the uh, Dakota Access Pipelines. And this is going to put him into conflict with the Army Corps of Engineers who have said that uh, those various pipelines can go through, but I'm wondering who those guys actually report to because if they report to the executive branch uh, directly, then there's going to be a conflict and I'm wondering who's going to win that conflict. The national parks have been given a blackout just as the Department of Transportation, the Department of Interior, the National Institute of Health, the Department of Health and Human Services, the USDA. Now that blackout extends even to Congress. So it's not just uh, sending tweets and publishing and releasing information uh, that goes out to the general public. Their information is now even restricted from being sent to Congress. Now, where have you heard that one before? This is getting serious, folks. It's getting very serious. When there's a blackout of information to the public regarding what's going on, where are we headed? The National uh, Parks uh, received the instructions for their blackout, but uh, one particular park, and I, I apologize, uh, the name uh, currently escapes me, they uh, decided that they were not going to adhere uh, to the blackout. One hour later, their entire website was shut down. Now, I wonder who did that one. Folks, if we can't get the information regarding what's going on uh, with uh, our government, 
and our government agencies, we basically are uh, powerless in order to uh, act where action is needed or even to resist those changes. Now, Mr. Trump has also uh, issued an executive order preventing any international agency that um, has anything to do with abortion from receiving any U.S. funds. Now, that would cover organizations that actually provide uh, abortions, and it extends so far as to organizations that even talk about abortion, refer people to other places where they can obtain abortions. So, you know, I honestly believe that uh, the Republicans are going to take us down a road that it's going to be very, very difficult for us to recover from. I also believe that it's not Donald Trump that's actually creating all of these blackouts. I think those blackouts are coming from a, a person by the name of uh, Steve Bannon. If the instructions for the blackouts don't require an executive signature, i.e. Uh, Donald Trump, and actually can be ordered by Steve Bannon as its chief advisor, or Rance Priebus, or someone um, below uh, those two, Donald Trump may or may not even be aware of what the hell is going on. And if his signature is required, this guy's attention span is so short, he may not even know what the hell he's signing. People, Paul Ryan is going to probably get uh, his entire wish list along with Mitch McConnell. And if that happens, I told you so, just won't seem to cover it. But again, I'm waiting for tomorrow because there is supposedly going to be uh, some uh, new executive orders regarding immigration and the uh, people covered under DACA. If he does what I think he's going to do, I think he is going to uh, suspend DACA and he's going to issue um, a prohibition on immigration from a whole bunch of those countries over in the Middle East. Now, that supposedly is unconstitutional when he labeled uh, Muslims as persona non grata, but uh, he's going to get around that or potentially get around that by not uh, issuing uh, travel or immigration restrictions on the Muslim people he's going to issue restrictions on the countries themselves and then more than likely uh, try to fight it out in court. Meanwhile, the restrictions will be in place unless someone can get a restraining order um, on that particular executive order. This shit is getting serious. And the more that I think about it, the more I think we better get ready because it might have been a quote-unquote conspiracy theory, but that conspiracy theory as far as martial law and the takeover of this government is not going to be by the New World Order. It's going to be by this guy and the Republicans.